right, now we're back with. Boop, 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 boop. Make sure this is on. Yes. And we're back with Eagle Eyes Mysteries and the case of the puzzled pooches. So, uh, hey Randy, what do you want? Well, this lady has serious karmic problems. Real spiky aura. Vibes way negative. It's a shame she beeps out these vibes at the dog she brainwashes at her canine military academy. Actually, I think she's totally responsible for the field dog's the exercise disaster. Dogs can be social animals. They can be very sensitive to how humans feel around them feel. When you have a person like that putting out megawatts of anti-positive energy, it's no wonder that the, all the dogs at the show forgot their training. They were mega stressed out, man. Hey, Miss Preston. I assure you, children, the disappointing events of the day can all be blamed on Mr. Hicks and his moonbeam school of pet coddling. Like the dog breeds themselves, my training techniques have been refined over centuries and proven in the great shows of Europe. Dogs trained by me, failing in the field, unthinkable. I am sure Mr. Hicks sabotaged my dogs. The dogs he trained failed on their own. Imagine, poor Princess Titania running back at us as though the hounds of Hades were after her. What sort of devilry does this man do? Okay, he does devilry, apparently. Uh, imagine we've been there and we've been there now. Sorry, it's been a little while since I last played the game, so I'm a little confused about what we have and haven't done. So let's have a little close. Oh, well, we've been here. That solves that mystery. Uh, two creepy critters! Kitty Coo. The folks at the Creepy Critters Pet Shop know a lot about dogs. Maybe they can help us with our case. Hey, Mr. Karichi. I just came from a dog show in the park. I don't want to be kind of some spoiled spot, but I think that there was some monkey business with the dogs. My little Chato, he obeys commands just fine, but he gets out in the field and all of a sudden, he stops like he was reading a newspaper. He won't listen to me. I can't believe that my Chato would disobey me. He was a star pupil in Mrs. Preston's obedient class. I think someone was trying to fix the show. Perhaps that crazy Professor Crank. Chato is Mr. Creechy's bulldog. His collar has a tag engraved with his formal name, Vincenzo Caruso. What's this say? A flyer for the dog show has been taped to the front of Mr. Grimaldi's shop. Announcing the Richview Dog Fancier's third annual dog show. This year, in addition to the best of breed and most obedient, there will be a field exercise. All dogs must be entered two hours prior to show. Okay. Frankly, I was amazed to see such bad behavior from the dog show. They've all been well raised. I wonder what happened. Are you talking about the dogs? No, I'm talking about the trainers. Mrs. Preston was furious. Randy Hicks was momentarily bummed. And the way Professor Crank was way too happy at the success of his tin dog. Dogs will be dogs. Some days they're up, some days they're down. What's this? On the counter at Creepy Critters are a few boxes of dog toys, a glass bowl full with a gecko lizard, and some business cards. On one set of the business cards says Moon Dog Academy, Canine Educators, Randy Hicks Principal, Obedience Through Understanding, First Lesson Free with this card. Another set reads Pretty Puppy School for Dogs, Headmaster, Mrs. Edith Preston, Esquire, Intr Instructing the Finest of Pets of the Crown Princess of Europe. A thorough education steeped in tradition. First lesson free with this card. Okay. Oh, hey, Anthony. Anthony is restocking the pet shop. He's putting cat toy, cat play toys and silent dog whistles out on the shelf. These are some of our hottest items. Cats really love these play toys. They have catnip in them. And for some reason, the smell of catnip drives some cats wild. Silent dog whistles are used a lot by our customers to call their dogs. Dogs can hear these silent whistles from a really long away, and they don't really bother anyone else. Yay! That's, that's nice. So, to the police station? Is this now a criminal case? Ah, Sergeant Nails, you look so heroic. Oh, Officer Nails? 
Wow, you got demoted. Here's Officer Nails. We'll ask him if he knows anything about the puzzling pooches. Nope. Re-promoted to sergeant. Officer Nails, we were wondering if you know any reason why the dogs were acting funny in Taylor Park today. The dog show was a disaster. Sorry, Jennifer, I don't. The Taylor Park was a peaceful place. They hold dog shows there for years without any problems. But dogs are a lot of trouble. I prefer cats myself. Now, Riverside Park is another story. For the last few months, we've had vandals creep into the park almost every day and destroy the flowers in the gardens there. Wow, sounds like another mystery for the Eagle Eyes Detective Agency to investigate right away. You know, after we finish the other case. Thanks, but that won't be necessary. That's already been solved. You see, the vandals are deer. They come into the town along the river and they just eat the flowers. But I think they stay away from the park now. Why, how do you keep them out of the park? Oh, I sprayed Riverside Park with wolf scent. It's too faint for most people to smell, but the deers will smell it and they think the wolves are in the park. That'll keep them away, I hope. But I guess that kind of confused the, uh, the, uh, the dogs. Uh, I think we've been everywhere, but let's just check out the library just in case. Don't see why I wouldn't have been here. Oh, hey, Troy Nugent. Mr. Lightfoot is here, f filling out for Mrs. Garcia. He's intense. He lives out of town in a little cabin, writes spy novels for a mystery, uh, for, for a living. I, I thought he was a science fiction writer. Hi, kids. Mrs. Garcia is home with Bobby. He's got the flu. If I can help you with anything, just let me know. Uh, we have questions about dog training and behavior. Do you know where we can find information on that? Actually, maybe I can help you. I have a dog that's part wolf named Ghost Dancer. You see, I, I, I dance with wolves. So I know a little about dogs and dog behavior. Uh, why does having a dog teach you about dogs, Mr. Lightfoot? Well, because all dogs are descended from wolves once upon a time. By breeding them over the last 10,000 years, people have shaped the look and character of dogs. But underneath the, the fur, there still beats a heart of a wolf. Cool. Is those stands are here? We'd like to see him. No, I never bring him into town. All the other dogs have a fit when they see him or smell him. Besides, Ghost Dancer prefers the wide open spaces, just like me, so we can dance. Alright. An encyclopedia entry on dogs reads, Dog, Canis the Familiaris, not Canis Canis Lupus. Hey, hey! A domesticated member of the family Canine, I think it's supposed to be Canine, yeah, I think, to which... Uh, wolves, jackals, and foxes also belong. Canis means dog in Latin. Uh, dogs are descended from wolves, but most of the wild instincts have been tamed over 10,000 years of breeding. This is called being domesticated. Select breeding by humans for specialized traits has been created for 130 breeds recognized by the American Kennel Club today. Today, dogs vary a lot in size, color, and character. Because of their remarkable hearing, dogs can be trained by silent whistles that use sound frequencies for above the range of human hearing. Dogs have exceptional senses of smell. Their powerful noses can smell a sense undetectable to humans. Both dogs and wolves communicate by smell, using it to mark territory and tell friend from foe. Hey, Troy Nugent. Hey, Troy. We heard there was trouble at the dog show. Do you know anything about it? It wouldn't have anything to do with Professor Craig's dog. I took it out for an exercise before the show and it was working perfectly. I don't see how it would affect the other dogs. Yeah, well, you don't see anything, Troy. That's why you need glasses. Alright, I think we've been everywhere, sir. I think we've got this dog dilemma by the tail. Pick the three clues that prove best what happened at the dog show. Oh, no, this is going to be the tricky bit. Alright, so... No, none of those. Um. Do, 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 do. Um. Ah, uh, okay, yes. So. Troy took it by Riverside Park. Uh, Riverside Park has been, uh. Covered in, in wolf scent. And, um. Here we go. Yes. So. 
Yes, uh, we need one more. Here we go. Those are the clues we need to sniff out the culprit. Who do you think is responsible for all those puzzle pooches? Heh, <laughs> Sergeant Nails. <laughs> Wonderful. You figured it out. And we're out of time, so we'll be back in the next episode um, to hear the her, her diagnosis. So yeah, see you in a moment. <laughs>